So the parents, you and I, are the best and primary educators of children. We know what's best for our children, and uh, it should not be left to the sexperts. Sexperts leave our children alone. If you remember the Labour Party under Wendy Alexander and Susan Deacon, they introduced a program for our children, and the head of the Lothian project, uh, who was part of Stonewall, he, he was tried at the magistrates in Edinburgh, and if you read the testimony of what this sexpert was up to, he was a paedophile, he was grooming young children, he was part of the government-sponsored program. That's the sort of sexperts that are manipulating our children and know nothing, and are trying to divide the parents from the children. Sexperts, leave our kids alone. The poor children, if you've, if you've seen the syllabus, RSHP, if you've seen the teaching materials, these are obviously totally inappropriate and nobody seems to be reading them. You have, good for you. Uh, you've seen the materials. They are obviously not age appropriate and to corrupt primary school children, to confuse them and that and this wonderful period of innocence introducing this information is dangerous and is corrupting in the long term. So the children need protecting from this. The teachers I feel sorry for. Some of them have been manipulated through these sensitivity workshops to deliver this inappropriate material. Some of them feel that because of this agenda of respect and safety that they have to deliver the material. But don't get conned by the fact that they say to you, oh no, we're not covering the whole syllabus, don't worry, we don't do the, the, uh, the nasty bits, uh, uh, we won't deliver that. But when we put a freedom of information request to our council in Stirling, they said yes, every local school is delivering the syllabus in full, and that will be the same in Falkirk, and you need to check that out. Put a request in, is every school covered by this? That sexpert I was talking about was Jamie, Jamie Rennie and it was the Stonewall Youth Project. They should be educated in maths and English. That's what we want to spend the time on. Not this stuff. I mean they seem to be they're coming out of school as experts in their rights and uh, sexualization but we want them coming out well educated with good academic qualifications and a whole beautiful future ahead of them. But instead they're introduced to abortion, abortifacients, the morning after pill. Uh, there are a lot of physically very damaged children coming out of our system and mentally very damaged. So look, I applaud the good people of, the good parents, the good people of Denny, the common sense, the common sense people in, in this uh, town. Uh, you stand up for your children, you know what's best for them, and you keep fighting. Well done, Denny. Brilliant. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael, for the start.